knock myself out. When you're gardening, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do whatever makes you happy. Another little project, Titan, 50 pounds better. Sam and I are gonna go ahead and put that together today for Earth Day. Oh yeah. The box has a finger hole in it. No, it does. <laughs> it's to aid in carrying. It's got muscles. <laughs> We're gonna do it in the driveway. I uh, figured Earth Day, might as well just do it right on the Earth. But hey, you know. Use a machete to rip it open. <laughs> I don't know if we'll need those. <laughs> I know what that is. That's a little spreader wheel. Oh, look, it's a shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be cool. This thing was only like 93 bucks. Pneumatic tires, good size wheel too. I mean, that's bigger than your whole head. <laughs> Let's get it put together. What are you doing? Oh, I'm losing pots. probably like break open the box to use it as like a an assembly pad. Oh yeah. Does it say what it needs? Doesn't have like a tool? That's what I'm looking for. I don't see anything. like we need a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna need a couple of wrenches. It's not saying what we need. So I'll just grab a couple of the bolts. If you want to just give me some of the bolts we can check it out. So I'll just see what you got. So 10 millimeter and I got two different size Phillips screwdriver, uh, screwdrivers. Titan Outdoors 50 pound spreader. So it looks like you want to do it. Like the regular these ones. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, but it's pretty easy. This is a uh, number 
so that's just following that instruction just in installing the four regular like wood type looking screws um, into the bucket and now it looks like what we're gonna do is the gearbox and the actual spinner the gearbox? Yep. spinner is that like? circular disc yep And then see how it's actually labeled. It says front, so obviously so that it's going to go like there. this. Yeah. Does this go up like that, or this way? Uh, yeah, it goes that way. Thread it all the way through, just like it should be. Now the instructions. It's like it's looking for the other half of the frame, which is those angle brackets that are way over there. Oh, cool. What is the next plan? The gearbox and stuff to be installed on this. Goes into here? Yeah, the. This? Yep, that does, yep. Does it go in there? Does it go on there? Yeah, you can put it in. Let's make sure the front part is facing front. So it's looking for two screws and a lock nut. These two screws are these two screws. So it's probably these longer ones because it's going through two tubes. And so you can have one, I'll, I'll take one. You also need a lock nut. It doesn't say anything about a washer or anything. Just gotta make sure that we don't crank it down, that's all. When we uh, tighten this together, that we don't crank it because we'll crush the tubes. Oh, there's two 10 millimeters, or three 10 millimeters. And what you do is you put one on the inside and you spin the outside. So Hold, so you can hold that one right there. Put this one right here, and you just spin that one. Spin. Spin, spin, spin. spin. And you can do the same thing to this side. So you can go on the inside, and I'll spin the outside. Just we're loosely putting it together right now. Now you can see how this has like a little key. So these have like a little key right here, these little pieces. So slide the key into the spot. So just like that, that side's already done. Got these bolts on, which is just part of that X frame. X frame piece right there. Cross brace. Oh, it's actually, it's a frame brace, so it's got two frame braces, cross brace, which is actually this piece. That piece? Yeah, this is a cross brace. This cross brace goes here, and that gets two screws, or two bolts, and then it also gets these, one of these brackets, so you get one and I get one. These pieces? Yeah. So you can see how it's bent? Yep. Yep. So one is an inside to an outside. So yeah, it looks like it takes a shoulder. Like that? Yep.
way to use the open end. Might be easier. Later that same evening. I was going against my better judgment. There were a couple of parts that were kind of like, I guess it's still because my head's being a little foggy, but um, there were these bushings or whatever, spacers. And when I looked at it, the way they were installed, it looked wrong. It just, it didn't look like that's how it was supposed to be, but I was just going by the directions and, and I figured because the pieces were already installed, they must have been installed right and they weren't so we just had to take a quick little lunch break and go back and um, I dismantled just you know the the two sides and what you have to make sure of is obviously it's got the flange on this side and that is the side that you want it on it just it, it wasn't looking right and I kept on sliding off and I got oh this it's got to be the way it is maybe something else kind of holds it in place and whatever but nope so <laughs> Both of them are reversed now. It is the way it's supposed to be now uh, in the package for some reason. At the factory, somebody must have just, you know, slipped them on the wrong side. It's no big deal. So it's only, you know, two bolts per side. And nothing's cranked down because it's just you don't want to crank stuff down until it's uh, complete. You ready? Oh, yeah. So it's got these washers. And these washers are probably just going to go like that. There might be one on each side, I'm assuming. One on each side of the wheel? Yeah. So, you've got the wheel with the hole, I've got the wheel with just nothing. So mine just slides on, like so. Slide the washer on. So slide this on. Then put the washer on. <laughs> then put the wheel on. Then put this on. Then put this on. So is this three eighths? Five sixteenths? Yeah, three eighths. Five sixteenths. <laughs> what is that one? Is that a metric one? Five sixteenths. What do we just? Does this? So does this have a washer on this side too? Yeah. yeah. You just kind of smack it on. It's got these little spline cap things. And now it's installing the handle and the pivot. Bracket assembly. Make a difference which way it installs. So you got one end that has like four inches of pipe, the other end has like an inch of pipe. So let's see. The end that has the four inches of pipe is going this way. Like that. that makes sense. It's one, two, three, four. Pivot bracket. You have good eyes when you do stuff in the grass and the weeds, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Again, nothing's being cranked down. Uh, 
starts the hard way. Got this like little piece that needs to go inside the handle. It's like a little filler piece. And what it does is it just stops the handle from collapsing. So we're gonna You have a leaf on your knee. A leaf? Yes. What, no cell phone holder? There is actually a seed or fertilizer spreader that I just saw online that has a cell phone holder. Seriously? It mounts. That's ridiculous. Right here. Hey, I could 3D print one. Oh my God. If we really need it, come on. I mean, maybe they're using GPS navigation. No, most likely the ladder. <laughs> All right, so now I need that rod that's over by you. The rod. Mm -hmm. Now basically it's just adjusting stuff and putting the screen in and the pin. Yeah, that's it. Just adjusting how this opens and closes in here. It's as easy as just adjusting the threaded rod either up or down or forward or back with the use of these uh, nuts right here just gonna want to set it to close and then as soon as you bring it over to crack it open you can see that it starts to crack it open so i'm just gonna go with that should work hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage and now at least i've got the impella facing the right way Yay. <laughs> hey, what was that? Is that a dribble glass? Is that a dribble glass? Not snapping selfies. Look at what I forgot. I think my head is still foggy.